identify the true colors. So, so, so don't get scared of it. Just become very, very careful as to what you are watching. Be very, very careful as to what you are listening to. Be very, very careful as to what you are allowing to, to, to yourself to feed on. Because, because it's, it's not about whether they have had successful uh, success in, in, in the sense of casting out demons or success in the sense of miracles or success in the, in the sense of, 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 of prophets becoming true. What, what, what's, what's absolutely essential is that are they living their life for Christ in the way that they should? Amen. Amen. You know what? I, I can... I could open up tonight, I could open up the book of Islam and find good things in there. Right. I could open up a Buddhist book, Buddhist Bible, and find good things in there. I could, every religion has something good in it. Right. But, but where are they going? And what good does it do me to follow something or to follow someone straight into hell? Right. I might as well find out what the truth is and follow the truth. Amen. I'm not interested in finding out how many people, how many preachers, how many religions, how many how many uh, sects out there are, 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 have good things or say good things or do good things. All I'm interested in is what is the truth? I want to know what the truth is because I know I want to know where I'm going, yeah. and I want to know where, where, where what it is that I need to do to get where I'm going. So, so it, it's no it's no shock to me tonight that that, that Buddha and, and that uh, Islam and, and and that all of the cults out there have have good things in them. That's how they suck people in. There, there is, there is sex out there. There is, there is cults out there that that are that are adept at prophesying, that are adept at, at, at performing miracles, that are adept at at, at, at at possibly even casting out demons. But what good is it going to do you if it's going to take you into the same place that they're going? And then Jesus said in His Word, He said that not everybody that says Lord, Lord is going to come into my kingdom, but those that do my will. So I want to tell you today, the most important thing that you can do is to find out what is the will of God and then do it. It would be easier, Pastor, if I just followed a man blindly and expect it to, to end up in a good place. But you see, this is this book is, is, is a warning to not do that. It's, it, it's telling me that I need to become familiar with the Word of God, that I need to become familiar with the laws of God, that I need to become familiar with the commandments of God and live my life accordingly. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's about the if. It's about the if. It's not about the miracles. There, almost every set, cult, uh, what do you want to call it, are looking for a formula mm -hmm. to get God to do a miracle. And, and some people out there think that they found the formula. Yeah. It's curse this. It's uh, it's bless this. It's uh, do this, and, 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 and this is and this is the way that everything's going to go straight and go good in your life. Every time somebody comes to me and, and gives me one of them uh, uh, little little sayings, I just kind of shiver because how's that going to work for you in, in, in a couple of months? Okay, I'll move on. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, upset everybody. That, that, I mean, I, I do plan to be here next Sunday night. <laughs> Would like for you to come back at least. You know, uh, give me a chance to, to really slam these again. <laughs> <laughs> Many will say to me that on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did in your name cast out demons and in your name perform many miracles? I want you to understand that there are people. I, I knew of people. I know of people. I, I could go to a person right now that, that is spiritual. 
that can sense things in the spirit because they're a spiritual person. They, they, they've got they've got they're tuned into the spiritual world. That doesn't make them a Christian, That's right. and that doesn't make me want to follow them because because the word of God even says that that, he, that God will allow a spiritual person to perform a miracle to test you or to test me. If that person is not following God's word, if, that's, if that person is not following God's commandments, then, then I don't care how many devils they've cast in, and I don't care how many miracles they've performed, and I don't care who they've prophesied over and how many of those prophecies came true. Don't care. I do not care. And I'm one of the last people that, that, that goes and looks for a personal prophecy. I, I get squeamish. I get, I get agitated. Must be the devil inside of my pastor. Because I want nothing but God's word. I want nothing but God's truth. And, 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 and I know that there are times and people have spoken to my life and the words have come true, and I appreciate the fact that they were from God, but I did not base my life on those words. I based my life on what I knew God was telling me. Because those words were a confirmation, or they were or they were preparing me for, for something, and, and God revealed and confirmed it after. The minute that you begin to follow a, a, pro, a prophetic word without any thought, without any, any, any questions, is, is, is the time that you need to stop right dead in your tracks and, and start thinking and start praying and start asking God, God, I, I, I just want to go. I want to go the right way. I want to do the right thing. I want to. I want to do what you you have called me to do, not what someone else wants me to do. People have got married. People have changed jobs. People have done all kinds of things on 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 on, on prophetic words that they were given and wrecked their lives, Amen. ruined their lives. Because the person, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a little point. If I really, 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 really want something, if there is something in my life I really, really, really desire, and a spiritual person comes up to me, they can read me. Is that right, Pastor? And they can tell me what I want to hear. This is not, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about a spiritual person in the sense of godly person. I'm talking, I'm talking a person that's just spiritual, that, that's in tune spiritually, but not, not of God. If I have a strong desire for something, that person can read me. I, I want to make these strong people, I want people to be... Not scared of personal property, but, but but I want you to be. I want every alert up in the air. I want your antennas up. I want I want you to be thinking about what 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 God really wants, and I want you to be careful uh, that because because there are so many people that will lead you off into air, will lead you on endless little roads. You will be doing endless little circles. You will always be chasing something and never getting there. Right. And God doesn't have that kind of a plan for you. You see. It's, it's more important that you that you obey God's commands than, than that you get a personal prophecy telling you what good's going to come into your life. Because the way I read the Word of God, if you obey, you're blessed. End of story. If you want to be blessed, just obey. Now we just read and we are reading in, in Matthew chapter 7 here where it talks about Storms and, 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 and all kinds of things coming. So, so don't get upset if, if you're obeying the best you can and the best you know how and, and you're doing the best that you know how to do and you're still getting storms. That's part of the course. That's just part of the course. That's just life. Amen. L I F E. Life. My life. <laughs> it's going to happen. It, 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 it's just, it's yeah. going to be. That's just the way it's going to be. But. 
But God is going to bring you through. If, if, if there is testing in your life, if there is pressure in your life, if there is, if there is things beyond your control in your life happening to you right now, it, God's got a reason for it. And if you submit to God's word and you, and you come through that and you, and you use that to examine your responses, you, ex, you use that to examine your, your heart, you ex, use that to examine the intents of your heart, it, it, it'll, it'll bring things to the surface that you never dreamt were there. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> but but it's it's good. Yes. You see you see some people go, go through the testing and and there's stuff that rises up inside of them and and they and they're rebuking devils and they're they're cursing Satan and they're they're doing this and they're doing that instead of just owning up to the fact that that's me. I got to change. Sorry for stepping on somebody's doctrine right there. <laughs> Not sorry. <laughs> but 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 you see you see God is interested in, in, in your perfection. God's interested in you moving forward. God's interested in you being the person that He has called you to, to, to be. He's he, He's not worried about I, I mean He wants you to accomplish His purposes, but He's not gonna He's not gonna push you ahead of your time. It's gonna wait for you. So you might as well just when, when you're going through the tough parts, when you're going through the, the tough trials. Say, God, okay. I didn't realize I could get this angry. I didn't realize I could respond in this way. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize, God, that, that, that this, this actually can, can upset me in this kind of a way. I didn't realize, God, that this could stress me out like that. That's right. You've got to be honest. I could pretend it wasn't there, put on my happy face, and, and pretend it's not there. But I know it's there. I know it's there. <laughs> Praise God. <Yeah. laughs> My wife knows it's there. <laughs> Amen. And maybe even my children know it's there. Amen. So, so let's listen to this. It says, and, and, and so, and then I will declare to them, in verse 23, I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, from me, you who practice lawlessness. And I absolutely don't want to hear that. What I'm looking for, what I'm looking forward to hearing is well done, a good and faithful servant. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 and I know that, uh, that my, what I want to do is, is to be caught doing what I'm supposed to be doing when he comes back. Yes. Yeah. When my life is finished, mm -hmm. no matter how I'm taken out of here, whether I'm taken out by a bus, <laughs> <laughs> Or, 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 or whatever method. I want to be caught doing what I'm supposed to be doing when I'm here. That's all that really matters to me. Uh, this, this, is, this, is, uh, this, this life is, is, is really uh, just, a, just a, a step, uh, the beginning, the beginning of, 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 of a real life, eternal life. Amen. So, so therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine, and acts on them may be compared to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And, and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and slammed against that house, and yet it did not fall, for it had been founded on the rock. And I want to tell you something. If you are getting shook by the events that are taking place in your life, it's because God's exposing weakness. God's exposing some sand in your thinking. God's exposing some, some things that you need to change. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be ashamed of it. Own up to it and change. And say, God, I need to change. Interesting, in Judaism, I don't know if Brother Doug has, has read this or not, but the month of Elul is, is, is the time of Teshuvah. And, uh, and, and, and the way they explain it is this is that when the king is sitting on his throne, he's, he's kind of hard sometimes to get there. It's kind of hard to get his attention. But the month of Elul is, is a month where the king is in the field and he's available. Now, I haven't done a study on, on, the, on the appointed times. I'd love to do a study on the appointed times because I think, I think there's some pretty amazing principles and, 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 and information in that. But I, I think it's good to take a month, take a month of Elul and say, God, I want to examine my life. I, I, I want to look over the last year 
of, of where where I've been, the things I've gone through, the way I've reacted, the way I've responded, the way I've the way I've uh, possibly uh, reacted. And, and God, I want you to to, to begin to uh, to, uh, to show me things and, and, and let me see things so that so that I can change the way I was to become the person that I need to be. And when you do that, you will be like the wise man.